Welcome to Shendra's Engineering Tutorials. It's a, now for this video, it's a response of a low pass RC circuit to a ramp input. Let's discuss that in this video. And we need to consider the low pass RC circuit. The circuit is like this. We have a resistance and we have a capacitor like this. Input is given over here and output is collected across the capacitor this time for a low pass RC circuit and uh, resistance and uh, and this should be the Laplace equivalent circuit uh, in the sense uh, uh, we need to have 1 upon SC for the capacitor represented in Laplace domain and VI of S and uh, V naught of S this is what and what according to potential do, uh, divided rule we have is V naught of S can be written as here V naught of uh, S can be written as the impedance across which the output is collected. Uh, we are collecting the impedance across 1 upon S, the capacitor 1 upon SRC, the impedance upon the total resistance, total impedance R plus 1 upon SC into the input voltage VI of S. This is the equation for this circuit according to potential divided rule. Like this will help us to reach uh, to the response a uh, final expression for response of a low pass RC circuit for a ramp input right so this one and uh, it's a response of low pass RC circuit for ramp input so input voltage will be a ramp input okay and uh, the, La, uh, the Laplace transform of a ramp input it is a uh, 1 upon s square I have derived this expression previously you can find in my previous videos I'll provide the link in the description box please find it uh, the Laplace transform of a ramp function is 1 upon s square it's derived into um, this one 1 upon sc by r plus 1 by sc which is equal to v naught of s output of the circuit and uh, simplifying we need to do a small simplification over here what we have is 1 upon s square as it is simplifying this one what we have is uh, this one like uh, S C in the denominator, sorry, I need some space. S C in the denominator, S C, and cross multiplying this one, what we have is one plus S R C over here, and uh, one upon S C in the numerator as it is. And it's very clear that we don't have this one upon S C and one upon S C in the denominator. And uh, taking out and another one more simplification over here this one v naught of s going ahead v naught of uh, s is equal to as taking out rc as common from this one and this one what we have is 1 upon s square into taking out rc rc as common from this and this what we have is s plus 1 by rc this is taking out rc as common from this one and 1 right can you see this can you see it's even more a small simplification over here uh, this takes the form 1 by RC which goes up it's a 1 upon RC it goes up to the numerator and we have s square into s plus 1 by RC this is a transformation now we cannot stop over here we need to go further uh, taking the help of partial fractions and we have a repeated pole here the roots of the denominators are said to be the poles of the equation and we have a repeated pole s into s it's a repeated pole and for this re for this this kind of uh, equation we need uh, some type of uh, partial fractions that is how let me tell you how that's divided so v naught of s is equal to v naught of s which is equal to 1 by rc upon s square into s plus 1 by rc sorry a bigger one rc can be written as here splitting this one a careful watch please it's the point over here a upon s square plus b upon s plus c upon s plus 1 by rc this is how this equation divided into its partial fractions when we have a repeated pole here this is what 
a square a upon a square and this is the equation right so how to evaluate a we have to evaluate the values of a b c and we have to plug in and inverse laplace transform would give the response of a low pass rc circuit for a ramp input in this case this is our motive this is our objective behind uh, all these uh, simplifications right so evaluating for a what we have is a is given as this equation here i'm repeating it one upon rc uh, this equation as it is s square into s plus one upon rc as it is into multi this entire equation is multiplied with the re a residue a residue this one this is the residue of a s square and subjecting s is equal to zero what it means is after here and we don't have this square uh, in this equation and we are left with one upon rc in the numerator and this s is substituted with zero so we have this we don't have like zero plus one by rc and you can clearly see one upon rc in the numerator one upon rc in the denominator that gets cancelled and we are left with one which is the value of a now this is the value of a this one okay and for b what we have to do is b the same thing one by rc this term as it is upon s square into s plus one by rc into once again s square don't get confused s square and subjecting s is equal to zero and the entire term is differentiated with respect to s d by d s according to partial fraction the rule according to partial fractions this is this happens when we have a repeated pole in the fraction okay so what are going ahead uh, this one what we have is this gets cancelled this gets cancelled we don't have this anymore s square and s square uh, which is in the numerator and denominator gets cancelled and here we will have uh, u by v rule u by v according to uv rule what we have is v square in the denominator that is s plus 1 by rc whole square in the denominator and uh, in the numerator what we have is v s plus 1 by rc v into derivative of u it's a u in this case it's a constant and the derivative of this one will be 0 into 0 minus u 1 upon sorry 1 upon rc into derivative of v here this entire term is v and we have this this entire term is differentiated with respect to s so this is being a constant that will be 0 and this one it will be 1 into 1 this is according to uv rule of this fraction right and going ahead this this entire s plus 1 upon rc is multiplied with 0 and so we don't have this this becomes 0 this one it becomes 0 so we know we don't need that and here a subjecting s is equal to 0 over here this s also will be plugged with 0 so finally if this becomes 0 finally what we will be left with is minus 1 by rc in the numerator and uh, 1 by rc square in the denominator and uh, 1 of rc this one 1 of rc and gets cancelled we are having negative so it's minus r c here the final result is the value of b is equal to minus r c and evaluating the c value what we have is c for c what we have to do is uh, 1 by r c in the numerator as it is s square into s plus 1 by r c in the denominator multiplied this entire equation is multiplied with the c residue s plus 1 by r c and subjecting s is equal to minus 1 by r c according to partial fractions and here you can clearly see this doesn't exist anymore and uh, substituting the value of s is equal to this which gives us 1 upon r c in the numerator as it is 1 by r c whole square right that will be 1 by r c 1 by r c whole square so 1 gets cancelled we are left with 1 by 1 upon r c which will be equal to r c right so this will be the value now this will be the value of 
C. So we have value of A, we have value of B, which is this, and we have value of C, which is this. These values should be plugged in over here, which gives the response of the uh, low pass RC circuit for a ramp in. Plugging in these values, A equal to 1, B equal to minus RC, and C equal to RC, which we have obtained just now. In the expression for V naught of uh, S is equal to what we have is A upon S square plus B upon S plus C upon S plus 1 upon RC. These values have to be plugged in and with that what we have is 1 upon S square plus B by S, no, what's the value of B? We have minus, sorry, minus RC uh, left with S plus C we have RC left with s plus 1 upon r c this is the plugged in values for the uh, expression for v naught of s and from this one guys uh, now here at this point we can ob obtain the inverse laplace transform of this one which gives the response of a low pass circuit so it's in s domain the inverse would give us v naught of uh, t which is equal to uh, watch carefully 1 upon s square the inverse would go back to t why? Because uh, T, the Laplace transform of uh, T would uh, result in 1 upon S square. And so the inverse, these two are Laplace transform pairs. I have done this. I have proved this one. The proof for this one, like the Laplace transform of T being 1 upon S square. I have the video that will be included in the description box. Please find the attachment. And moving ahead, minus RC. And uh, 1 upon s, it's simply 1. The inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s, it's 1. Even this is proved. Plus rc. And the inverse Laplace transform of s plus 1 upon rc is e rise to minus t by rc. This is the final expression for response of a low pass rc circuit subjected to ramp input. This has to be proved. Hope you understood this uh, lecture video. If you find this useful, please subscribe my channel Ushendra's Engineering Tutorials. Stay with me for more updates. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you so much.